you know, James, we haven't always been in galleries that we fit in. And we often went into those galleries just because we wanted to have a place to be. Um, but it never works out, ultimately. So, we have a big audience tomorrow with these new, uh, the potential new owners of our old gallery. So, uh, you're going to be able to ask some questions and try to find out uh, what they want to do. And uh, we know they're successful. They've been Canyon Road down the street from us for uh, years 15 years. 15 years. years. Yeah. We, kn we know the owner sort of uh, uh, socially and they, they seem like nice people. We don't know what their intentions are. So we made up a list of ideas or uh, questions we wanted to ask. And uh, why don't you tell everybody well, what we're thinking about? Well, first of all, I would say that just based upon the contents of their other gallery, I don't think that we would have been first on their list to pick to have in, in the place they have now. But they're they're taking over they're taking over the lease of our the old space that we were in. And <clears throat> we don't know what their vision is for this space. Um, we don't know who they're planning on keeping. We don't know any of these things. And I'm gonna go and talk to them tomorrow and sort of feel them out on these things, including how they would plan to promote us. Because in truth, in the old space, we didn't really get a lot of airtime in the ads. We never got a show um, in all the years we were there. Not that it impinged upon the sales, but you know, it, it meant something in the, in the final analysis. Um, we're wondering what they're gonna do about the pricing. Um, well, that's a good question because my, my current galleries got my prices up uh, uh, pretty high, in fact, and uh, we don't know if this new gallery can sell them at that price or even if they have paintings at that price. So that's something we have to consider and uh, and really think about because that, that, that threat, uh, the way things are going, that would directly affect our income. Definitely. I mean, we have some other concerns, which would be you know, we, we've kind of gotten ourselves used to the idea that the old gallery was closing and that we were going to be basically gallery homeless in Santa Fe. And we've sort of come to peace with that a little bit, I think. And we have to think about, well, would we rather have total autonomy in our hometown and, and be represented elsewhere so we can do our own thing here? Or some kind of limited autonomy? Or is it better to be in a, in a gallery here? Well, that's, that's a good question. You know, because maybe it, it makes us more, gives us a little bit more cachet to the outside world in terms of getting into other places. These are all kind of uh, difficult questions to answer. We want to, uh, as far as doing our own thing, we're not gonna be like a gallery and have openings uh, every month, but we wanted to have a couple of, uh, at least a few private soirees. Or, private open, or open studio events in the summer. Studio events in the yeah. summer. Mm -hmm. uh, if they have a, a, a made our area, the side eye district into like a, a, a cool place to be, it might become like an art uh, center to go to. So we'd want to be part of that. Well, not so, only that, the, the three units next to our warehouse space are being rented to a couple of guys who are gonna open up a high-end Italian restaurant, uh, which doesn't seem to make a lot of sense given the location, but be that as it may, it's gonna draw an incredible amount of foot traffic from the Meow Wolf location, which is about 100 steps from our front door, which means we'll be having parades of people back and forth in front of our front door. Right, right, here's where we are right now. We're on the cusp of uh, the old and the new. The old way has always been the brick and mortar, a gallery. A gallery takes care of you, they sell your work, but now we've got the internet and you can have your own gallery online, own digital gallery, and that's the gallery we're in in New York, which is an online gallery. And so we're waiting to see if actually sales come from that. And mm -hmm. so we'll be dipping our toes in two arenas one, the new world, which is mm -hmm. online work, and even us potentially having our own gallery online Down selling the road our a own bit. work mm -hmm. for whatever prices we want and having complete autonomy. Right. So we're not sure what, what this opportunity is going to be, but you'll really find out tomorrow. And once she does, she'll let everybody know. And of course, we'll let you guys know. We'll figure out what we're going to do.